is Hans, and it's time for yet another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. This is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles, and boy, I am beat. I just got back from doing about nine and a half miles, and it's later than I hoped it would be, but light looks good, and it's time to cook. And today we've got Kung Fu Noodles with their premium braised beef noodle soup. I heard somewhere that they improved this. Uh, it wasn't from them, but... Uh, yeah, I figured they sent me some, so maybe that was part of the reason that uh, they sent it. So, here we are. This is the soup. This is the whole thing. It's a can. It's basically, this is a retort pouch. Consider it a flexible can. So that's going to go in boiling water for two minutes. And they mentioned doing it in two different things, but I... I like to kind of make things easier. This is the noodle, and this is gonna cook for five to six minutes. I've got the timer, as you can see, set for five minutes and 30 seconds, which is splitting that minute difference. So here we go. And when it gets down to seeing there's two minutes left, I'll put that in there too, because I'm using a big pot today. See? You just gotta make it easy. Ah. I knew I should check for that. That is not a food. It says very clearly, not a food. Although, there's a thing that most people don't know about these. People think, oh my god, if you eat the, the desiccant, it'll kill you. No. Most certainly not. If you put this in, sprinkled this in food and ate it, you'd poop it out. That's it. It's not, they, yeah. <laughs> Cause they know people that are so stupid that some of them will add that in, you know. It'd be easy enough to boil it in with the noodle, but yeah. Anyways, oh man, yeah. Like I said, I'm beat. I just took the dog and we walked. I'm sorry, I just took our wonderful dog, Pepper. And me and her walked from Kenmore to Bothell, went around the Sammamish River Trail loop that departs the, uh, the Burt Gilman Trail and then reunites with it. And then uh, headed back to Kenmore and then went down to this place called Log Boom Park where there's a park and a log boom on Lake Washington. And then headed home. And yeah, now it's quarter after one and it's Friday, so I'm stoked. This is going to be my 4,600th review. That's a lot. And uh, I'm doing two more today, so I'm going to get a little little ways into it. 400 reviews to go to the big 5,000. It'll be there. It'll, I'll, be, I'll be at the 5,000 before I know it. But the thing is, the one that I posted today was like review number 4,410. I'm a hundred and, well after this, I'll be like 192 reviews ahead. So, yeah. I don't know, I mean, I could just like do whatever I want, but I do like doing, I, I like doing this, this is fun. So if I do miss, I, you know, I won't be doing any reviews on the weekend big whoop you know <laughs> I'm not I'm not getting behind and I can do a post every day and I can uh, and episodes of this show come out every single day except for as I've mentioned before so say I've got review number what February screwed it up so this is the 10th so Today there's an episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time coming out on YouTube. First through the 9th, no, the 9th it was, that's right. Because on the 28th, it was like review, say, seven, 1758, right? I like to have the last number correlate with the day of the month. So 1759, there's no 9th in Feb, Feb there's no February 29th unless there's a like leap here. So, I skipped all those days and uh, it went to February 9th was what, 1759 or whatever it was. That sounds possible that that's the way it was. 
But now, I'm so far ahead that I'm doing episodes of this show, like this one, I believe, is coming out in April, or uh, August. So, and it's, yeah, it's March 10th, 11th? No, 10th. I think there are buttons that can be pushed to suss that out. Yeah, March 10th. Four days until my birthday, ladies and gentlemen. I've told everybody not to do anything for my birthday. I'm hoping they didn't listen. They never do. Maybe this year they finally will. Great. <laughs> uh, that'll be my doing. Oh, crud. I'm blabbing and forgetting to put the noodle in there, which is fine. It was five to six minutes. I can just let it go six minutes and that'll give it its full two minutes of hanging out in the pot. Yeah, those retort pouches are rad, man. The This is a product from Taiwan, and uh, retort pouches are king over there. There's so many bowls. You can just go to like 7-Eleven or Carrefour or Family Mart. Family Mart's insane, because when you walk through the door, it goes... I mean, it just has this long jingle that it plays when you go into the store. But anyways, uh, yeah, plenty of bowl varieties that have just big, huge sachets of uh, or retort pouches. You'll find ones with like lots of meat. This one is going to have a lot of nice meat in it, so I'm, I'm excited. We're going to let this go an extra 30 seconds. Well, I pass out. I swear. Okay, so we need a little bit more time on this. Four, three, two, one. Let's give you an extra. Twenty-four seconds. That that sounds about right. But once this runs out, I'm gonna take this big pouch out. The pouch is getting nice and warm. The noodles should be definitely done by now, I would exact, I expect. I can't even talk. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Okay. There's that. Oh, zip it. And then here's our pot, which I'm going to drain. I don't usually use a pot this big for this kind of thing. What I'm gonna do on this one, put it right in the bowl. I, I guess I will later. Shoot! Shoot! That's not usually the nomenclature or terminology I use, but you know. Um, and then I'm going to put the liquid directly in here. <coughs> this soup itself. And that way, I'm hoping I get a nice visual for you guys with the soup and the broth. Well, maybe I can just dump it right in this way. Yeah, I don't know. And everything, that's everything. Okay, so there's enough of the broth there, and now I'm going to add the beef and other vegetable stuff is so good. At least it was last time. It's like beef and maybe some tendon in there. Uh, that was not what I wanted to have happen, ladies and gentlemen, but you know, this shirt's pretty much shot. Mmm.
school honestly wasn't the right pick. But at least it really showcases the uh, the doodle nicely, I think, and everything in it. That's kind of the tricky thing about about these. I'm gonna go put an egg in this. Sesame seed and crushed red pepper and we're good. I could put some mung beans sprout in it, but that's not really the right thing. And there we are. I think that looks nice. This is a good one. Oh. Well, I'll try the noodle in a minute. Now it's all prettied up. Oh, I don't even have a rotato going. Man, really not on my game right now. I am so wiped out from that walk, I'm telling you. Rainy. Thirteenth day in a row I've walked at least well, I'm not quite there yet, but it'll be the thirteenth day in a row I've walked ten miles. Pretty stoked. Alright, so the next one you're going to see is this variety that I got from uh, a reader, uh, a Ferengi. Thank you very much. She sent me a ton of Indomie and other Indonesian varieties. And this is Indomie Hype Abyss Mi Kwa, which means soup noodle, Rasa Seblak Hot Gelatin, which means it's so spicy your eyes will pop off. Pop out. It's been Hazarometer wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. Have a good one and bye.